Hey everybody, this is Mike from Growers House here, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about a new fertilizer brand that has come out that we're pretty excited about. Before we actually talk about the actual fertilizers from VPS though, I wanted to give kind of a quick primer on fertilizers in general. So we have four different types of fertilizer here. We're gonna go over each type and just why each type is important to know as far as being a grower. So the first two types that we have here, we have magnesium sulfate and we have a calcium nitrate. When it comes to how they look, it's gonna be that nice clear crystal that we wanna see in a high quality magnesium sulfate. The next one we have here is calcium nitrate prills. Now these are gonna be our little droplets that are a little bit varying in size, but it's a single type fertilizer. So these two are our single type fertilizers with high solubility. So the crystal size or the granule size doesn't matter too much. It's more important to get a high quality product so they do have good solubility. Now the next fertilizers that I wanna talk about are generally gonna be used in our blend types, the ones that have our PK and our micros. So the two big ones that we're gonna see out there a lot of is going to be our powders and it's going to be our granules. So as far as the granules go, these are basically little seed prills that have been covered in different types of micronutrients, acidifiers, binding agents to create this nice little granule. And as you can see, there are some larger granules in here. Now, when it comes to things like Ventana Plant Science, they're going to blend their base nutrients into this powder here. And as you can see, the granule and the particle size is very small. This allows Ventana Plant Science to melt very fast into your stalks without having any negative interactions because what can happen a lot of the time on these larger granules is as water is infiltrating that granule and melting away the outside, sometimes you can get weird chemical reactions in the prills, especially if it's stacked at the bottom of your stock tank and you haven't mixed it yet, and they can actually form different precipitates around each other that are insoluble. Things like calcium phosphates or anything else if you have calcium in that tank as well. So you want that small particle size on your blends because they're not going to melt as easily. They're not gonna have the same high solubility as our single type fertilizers. So we want these particles to be small so that they melt just as fast as a single type and there's no negative interactions while we're melting them into the solution. Size of the particle is very important when it comes to melting your fertilizers. So all these fertilizers are generally graded on something called an SGN, a size guide number. So that number is what the fertilizer industry uses to determine what size granule, prill, or powders that you're going to need for your specific application. So when it comes to choosing a fertilizer, it's really important to choose a fertilizer that's made for the application that you intend to use it, which in our case is generally gonna be hydroponic use. So now that we've talked about some of the different types of fertilizers and how they're shaped or produced, I'm gonna talk about a couple of additives within fertilizer blends that are very common and you're gonna see a lot. One of the big ones is acidifiers. Now, when it comes to building a fertilizer, a lot of these fertilizer manufacturers want the simplest solution for growers. And a lot of the times they're gonna go right to what type of water the fertilizer manufacturer expects that grower to use. Then that means that they have added some acidifiers to that granule or that powder to offset what the manufacturer thinks is going to be your source water. So a lot of the time, well water is very basic or it can be slightly basic. So a lot of manufacturers add those acidifiers into their fertilizers so that you don't have to do a separate pHing step when you're melting the fertilizer for use. The other main additive that I'd like to talk about is like binding agents. Generally, you're not gonna see them a lot of the time in powdered uh, formulations, but you generally will see some of those in like a granular formulation because you need a certain chemistry to help bind all of your micros and other nutrients to that granule. Speaking of those additives, one thing that we really like about VPS is it doesn't contain those additives. So in the hydroponic world, a lot of the time we're using reverse osmosis water. If we're not using reverse osmosis water, it's probably because our source water is so good, it's like under 100 ppm, which is almost negligible. In those instances, you don't need an acidifier if you're using RO. If anything, what you're going to have to do later on is bring that pH back up. So what VPS did was they opted to not add those acidifiers or binding agents or any other additives so that they can have the most concentrated blend out on the market right now. All right, now that we know a little bit more about fertilizers, let's go ahead and take a look at that Ventana Plant Science blend here. So I got the Ventana Plant Science Bloom in front of us. 
And this is going to be the main blended fertilizer. Their other two components are just a calcium nitrate and a magnesium sulfate. But the one thing that really impressed us about this label is the concentration of nutrients per gram. So when you read a nutrient label, you're gonna see basically all your macros and your micros, and you're gonna see percentages. Now these are percentages by weight. So basically in a gram of this fertilizer, you're gonna have 2% nitrogen. And that nitrogen is gonna be generally in the form of nitrates. Obviously we have the full range of micronutrients. And the one thing that we always recommend when you're looking at a fertilizer, especially a dry fertilizer like this, is what is the concentration? What are you buying? Are you buying a lot of acidifiers and binding agents and you have very low percentages of actual nutrients? Or are you buying something that's just pure nutrients and then you can add the acidifiers and anything else that you would need? So when we look at the NPK numbers on the bag, it's 22641. That is very impressive. That's a very high concentration. Some people will even say something like, hey, that's too strong. But we're working with the dry fertilizer here where we can dilute this down to whatever percentage we need. So generally, we wanna get as concentrated of a base nutrient as possible because we can always add water and dilute it down to whatever concentration we need when it needs to be ready to use. Another big thing about the Ventana Plant Science Bloom that we were impressed by was the micros profile. In the cannabis industry, there has been a lot of, you know, like additives and additional products that were generally recommended with nutrient formulations. And that could be because a lot of those additives contain micronutrients. Well, Ventana Plant Science, they went back, they looked at a lot of plant tissue data and they saw what the optimal ranges for a lot of these things like micronutrients would be. This allows growers to not have to spend money on those additives and just use their base fertilizer and not be worried that there's gonna be a bottleneck or a limiting factor due to having not enough of these micronutrients. So the micronutrient profile, very robust, we like that and the NPK, very good as far as a dry fertilizer. So when you're purchasing fertilizer, just know that when you're buying a 25 pound bag like this, these percentages are very important in determining what your cost per gallon is and what your cost per gram of nutrients is. So now that we've talked about the bloom a little bit, let's go ahead and take a look at the Ventana Plant Science Calcium Nitrate. So this is Ventana Plant Science's commercial calcium nitrate. It's a little bit different from all the other calcium nitrates that you're gonna find out there on the market. Generally, calcium nitrate's gonna be about 18.5 to 19% calcium, about 15%, anywhere from 14 to 15.5% nitrogen. So with Ventana Plant Science, you know, going back to the theme of getting more per gram, the Ventana Plant Science calcium nitrate is actually 17% nitrogen and 23.5% calcium. So that is a better calcium to nitrate ratio, which allows growers to continue the calcium nitrate more towards the end of cycle, keep that calcium level up, keep that fungal pathogen resistance up without having to use a different product or having to sacrifice calcium delivery by trying to reduce nitrate delivery at the end of cycles. So this is a very cool and kind of step up from the typical calcium nitrates that you see on the market, especially for medicinal crops. Because it does have that higher calcium, it offers growers uh, one bag to run all through cycle and still maintain their calcium goals as far as PPM delivery, while maintaining their PPM delivery goals of nitrogen coming down in cycles. So this is a really cool product that I think a lot of growers are probably gonna start jumping on. So here we got the Vantana Plant Science Commercial Magnesium Sulfate. So this is just a bog standard magnesium sulfate heptahydrate. But the big thing about VPS's magnesium sulfate is it's a very high quality magnesium sulfate. A lot of the times when you are out shopping for magnesium sulfate, as one does, you're gonna find that there's a variety of different sizes and grades of the magnesium sulfate crystals. Generally, what you're gonna wanna find is medium to larger crystals that are clear. The lower quality magnesium sulfate heptahydrate out there on the market is generally gonna be very small crystals and it's gonna be kind of opaque. So when you're buying magnesium sulfate, just make sure that you're looking for a larger clear crystal. That generally means it's a higher quality product. You know, one of the cool benefits of the Ventana Plant Science commercial program is the magnesium sulfate is dosed separately. The magnesium is dosed separately, and of course it's magnesium sulfate. And the calcium nitrate is obviously dosed separately apart from its micros. So during the course of a growing cycle, you could easily adjust your calcium, your nitrate levels, your magnesium, and your sulfate levels to exactly what you want it to be in that particular stage of growth. Generally, you're gonna want more nitrates in the beginning of your growing stages, and then you wanna bring that nitrate down. 
Generally, you don't need too much sulfates or magnesium at the beginning or middle stages of growth. And then towards the end, you can displace a lot of those ions in the soil solution or even in the plant by adding something like magnesium sulfate. Magnesium is great at kind of displacing a lot of the larger ions within plants. And that can lead to better dry, better cure, better smoke, things like that. So magnesium sulfate is a very powerful tool when it comes to being able to dose your nutrients to exactly the specifications you want to finish your plants out the way that you expect them to finish. All right, folks, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something from this video. So reach out to Vantana Plant Science's website if you have any questions about the Vantana Plant Science program in particular. You can go to www.vantanaplant.science. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments as well. Please like, share, and keep on growing. Catch you on the next one.